We went to Benihana, and <laughs> oh, I love Benihana now. I didn't understand what it was, because I know that people go to Hawaii to train to be a Benihana chef, Yeah. Uh, so I thought it was Hawaiian food. Silly me. So apparently it's more Japanese than that, but I mean, it's, it's in the a, direction of Japan. <laughs> it's, it's hibachi-style cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Finally tried it, and uh, it's, a, it's a little expensive, but you yeah. get a dinner and a show, and the food is top-notch. One of the things that we struggled with in our first yeah. visit to Benihana was we didn't know how to order. And, like, I checked YouTube, and there was no how to order Benihana video. And, like, Julian did the same. We both struggled. So, as a service to people who might be going, I would like to explain how to order at Benihana. And we do recommend Benihana because it's fantastic. So, when you go, if you're in a group, you might get a table to yourself. But uh, if it's smaller, you'll be paired up with other people. And it's sort of, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to say this right. Pre- uh, price fix? Something like that. Yeah, I price don't... fixed, whatever. Uh, it's it's French... a fixed menu. Yeah, it's, it's French. For, for a fixed uh, menu in the sense, or fixed price, in the sense that you select a sort of a package. And so it'll include sort of the uh, salad, appetizer, soup, main course. Generally, it's all one thing. Yeah. And in your first visit to Benihana, I recommend that's all you get. Maybe that and a drink. It is a lot of food, all of these packages, and it's amazing. And the person who made it is in front of you watching whether you eat it or not. I did not feel judged, but if that's something that you might think about. Um, yeah. You know, uh, so it's a lot of food. It's kind of pricey, so you don't want to add unnecessary expense by... Because there is a la carte things you can get on top of it. You can get a boat of sushi or whatever. The a la carte things, they don't generally prepare in front front of you so that is just kind of general uh restaurant experience so you don't get that added value of the experience of it being prepared in front of you and again it would just be so much food too much food and so what i recommend uh, i tried uh the uh, teriyaki chicken yeah uh mind-blowing best teriyaki i've had in my life uh the show is fantastic and you can ask for little modifications you don't want like onions or mushrooms or something like that they'll note it when they take your order at the beginning and it will be there for when the chef comes out and of course you're watching them make it and stuff like that so they can ask you any questions that they might have ordering a benihana look for the section that looks like it covers a lot of different things entrees appetizers everything and order from there for your first time Definitely. And then after that, if you find that you could have eaten more, for one thing, wow, kind of impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and if that's the case, then in a subsequent visit, then you can maybe consider adding those a la carte things. But I certainly wouldn't recommend it for the first visit. Or like if you're with a large group and like the you and the large group collectively are going to share that one add-on thing where you're basically just getting maybe two or three you know sizable bites then maybe it makes some sense, like if you're gonna, like where you basically have the whole table or the whole section to yourself. Even then, I actually don't recommend it in that situation either, because then there's so many of you that you, all you need is one person to eat like a bird, and suddenly there's extra food for everybody basically True. there. And so again, even in a group, I suggest on your first visit, don't do a la carte stuff. Just go with the price fixed, and um, and then maybe you can have your own little economy that builds around it. It's like, well, I didn't super enjoy the soup. Here's the soup, but you know that appetizer of yours looks pretty nice. You didn't finish that, and you slide that over here, uh, and that sort of a thing, so that you can kind of fill the gaps and like. You know, the people who have a greater appetite can compensate for those who eat like birds, possibly. Yeah, like I, I we, we got the um, fried rice, which you absolutely need to get the fried rice. Um, and and we had we were sat at a table with people who'd been there before. And so they were asking us, oh, do you want the fried rice? And I was kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the experienced was, folks gave us And they're like, you insight. want the fried rice. So I was like, oh, okay. So thank you to you strangers who never gave us your names. Uh, <laughs> that was that was nice. And, and yeah, if you're an experienced person and you're obviously seated with novices, that's a nice nice thing to do exactly. uh, from my experience uh, but yeah i i wasn't able to barely put a dent in the fried rice because by the time like by the time all the food was out it was a lot of food um because yeah it was like a soup a salad um and then i i wound up having i think julian and i both actually wound up helping you finish the soup because we both yeah. liked the soup uh i think i wound up eating both of your salads um or finishing off both of your salads because neither of you guys really were digging the salad i think i helped you with your rice or something you definitely you and julian absolutely helped with the rice because yeah. there's just no way in a million years i was finishing that so good so um, filling though and so. and i think you guys also even helped with my prawns i think uh, I think Julian did. I think Julian, yeah. So just because like I have a decreased appetite these days, and so that was just all the food. Yeah. Um, you, if you order off the prefix menu, you will not leave hungry. <laughs> like legitimately, as much as I recommend Benihana, as much as I enjoy hibachi style cooking, uh, honestly, if you are certainly if you're fresh off of having uh, bariatric surgery, this is not the restaurant for you. Yeah. Just walk away. 
yeah. that was it was nice while I knew you. It's not going to happen again. Think that relationship it, is over now. Think of it as all you can eat. Um, with like a minimum that they, you know, that you're penalized if you don't hit. Like it is, it is huge portions. Yeah. Uh, when you put it all together, and so yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Unfortunately, for people who uh, uh, who have had any kind of gastric bypass surgery or sleeve or whatever it might yeah. be, any kind of um, metabolic surgery, basically. Yeah. Any any of that kind of intervention. This is a lot of food. <laughs> but it, but it's still um it it was super tasty and it was yeah. very very fresh um the entertainment was a lot of fun yeah very fun um yeah and they let you film uh, which you know some places are a little kind of touchy about that but it seems like this is almost an expectation that you kind of just film it so you know my one and only reel is of you know the guy doing I don't know what he did uh did a thing um and, you know for us if we want Benihana we have to go to Portland uh which is a five hour drive so it's a commitment um and. Uh, um, and the other thing, too, is you abs- – I don't know if it's unique to this particular Benihana, but we found that you absolutely – this is not a, hey, why don't we go here uh, last minute? We don't know what we want for dinner tonight kind of can't, situation. Can't go on a whim. Um, yeah, we had, to, we had to book a table about yeah. two weeks out before we were able to get a booking. Yeah, several days in advance at bare minimum. Yeah. But possibly quite a bit more. So especially if it's anything tied to a date, like a birthday or special occasion, uh, you're definitely going to want to book in advance as far out in advance as the website lets you, basically. But the booking in advance process is pretty easy and cancellations pretty easy Yeah, it's easy just with, well. through open table. It's like, it's dirt simple. Yeah. Um, and so uh, also one of the things that the, the, it in, the experience includes is a picture. Yeah. So they'll come over with their own little uh, phone and they'll take some pictures and you get a print out of that as well. So um, the, the all-inclusive prefix thing is, uh, is really what we recommend. And that is sort of, I think, the essential of how to order Benihana. And I'll also mention that I don't like Japanese food. I'm actually allergic to, to large portions of it. Um, but I loved this. I absolutely loved it. So I think that for a variety of palates, whatever your taste, I think that someone would find something that they would uh, enjoy. Because they I, had vegetarian options too. I think, they, tofu they absolutely stuff. did. They absolutely yeah. did. We are now converts and we are spreading the Benihana gospel across the world. And please subscribe if you haven't already. A couple questions for you, our audience, is uh, have you been to Benihana? What was your experience? Is there a dish that you recommend or really enjoyed? Let us know in the comments. Here's my ask is have you had Benihana-like food, maybe with or without the show, at a lower price somewhere because sometimes we might just want the food and not the show uh, because I mean you know it is, some people have social anxiety yeah. uh, you you might be paired up with strangers and you know there's a lot of eye contact it's not too much for us but for some it might be mm-hmm. uh, having someone make your food that close to you and kind of uh, you know performing and making jokes uh, and sometimes so, at like, your expense you, but and, you're kind of yeah it. but in a good way uh, from what we found yeah. with our guy but um, sometimes people just might not be feeling that but yeah. they might desperately want that really good food yeah I think I think so the expectation. If you've got a tip, let us know, and we'll check it out. We'll review it. I, I think the expectation with, particularly with Benihana, is you're you're in on the joke. So even yeah. if if the joke is made at your expense, like you kind of know going in that the it's while it'll be good natured ribbing, it's still going to be some ribbing if it happens. I, I mean, I, I recently saw like a viral video where some lady just kind of went off on the hibachi cook, and he served her a couple different ways, um, and it was kind of fun to watch, and everyone was having a great old time just watching her get eviscerated by this guy in a very very polite and hilarious kind of way well i guess maybe he lost one tip but increased five others at the table so maybe that's really good math yeah, minus one plus five for him. um but um, also i th- i th- i got the sense because i was watching the room because i'd never been so when i first showed up i was like looking around trying to get a sense of like what it would be like and even when i was there when there was like a wait before the chef came out i was kind of trying to read the room and from what i saw it looked like the 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 chefs that we saw at the portland location were really good at reading their audience yes and so like if there was somebody who had really closed body posture and wasn't laughing a lot and kind of looking down they kind of like they, they tried to draw them out a little bit but they didn't point a spotlight on them at all no and like, they, they, they seemed would, to really consider it uh, at least the ones we experienced yeah and they would maybe do like one or two passes at that and they tried to draw them out if it didn't work they'd, then they'd just yeah they'd and, find and someone just else them that would, enjoy the food uh, yeah. and then it would just be a matter of okay so did you want the mushrooms or not like it was just practical exactly, from exactly. that point and so. I, th- I think the other thing i'd like to know too is not just you know yeah is there some sort of like hibachi uh, grill that you enjoy that that's, you know, more cost-effective than Benihana. Or the, the other thing I'd like to know, too, is, you know, where you're at, um, is Benihana, like, super overrated? And there's a place that's, you know, irrespective of cost, uh, where you're like, nah, like, whatever, Benihana's yesterday's news, like, this is where you gotta go for hibachi food. Um, because maybe we'd like to check it out. Um, we get around a lot. Yeah.